who's gonna take the free kick? Wer mag der Freistoß? Hello and welcome to the Matchday magazine. I'm really looking forward to this episode because we have a shooting star of the BVB here with me, Jamie Bino Gittens. Welcome, Jamie. Thank you very much. Thank you. You've been out quite some time, so first question has to be: How is things? I love it now. Obviously, playing back on the pitch with the fans and my team is the best feeling. Yeah. So yeah, I love it really. Are are you back to 100 already? I don't think so. I'm I'm near. Yeah. Say 95 Okay. You're 90%. getting there. Getting, You're there, getting there. Yeah. yeah. Um, just looking at you during your comeback, you scored right away. Just uh, what went through your mind in that particular moment? Uh, just emotions. I was gonna cry on the pitch <laughs> when I scored because it's been three months since injury. You know, my shoulder injury. But um, yeah, it's good to be back and I score a goal. Um, Every time when you come on the pitch, you actually you're quite active. You you use that time that you get um, right away. Isn't there a lack of let's say uh, rhythm with with your with your playing? Yeah, like I've got to be direct to make the team play faster because that's what I do. It's my job to help the team score goals, and yeah, that's part of my team to score and be direct on the pitch. Before we head deeper into the conversation, we want to have a quick look back on Jamie Bino getting season so far. Jude was telling, he touched it like, yeah, yeah, it was me. He did, he did, he did. He did, he did. He did. He's like, his shoulder touched it. So he wanted that one. Yeah, but I said no way. I said no chance. So, nice pictures. Um, overall, you started with uh, regular appearances and uh, you even scored your first goal and then that uh, injury to the shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, tell us what happened in that moment because to us it looked like a regular challenge, actually. Yeah, it was a normal challenge, just the um, shoulder barge. And my shoulder was behind me and then it got dislocated so I had to get surgery on it and the first two weeks I couldn't do nothing because it was just pain yeah. so I was out for a month really of nothing and then I built up slowly doing some shoulder stuff in the gym and stuff with Mo the hood yeah. and then by December we we're back on the pitch so how did you get through this uh, rehab time? I mean, mentally, maybe uh, the most important part of it, um, besides that physical work. And, and who hel helped you maybe on the way the most? Well, my family was here for okay. two weeks, helping me with my like, stuff in daily life. Daily life yeah. yeah um, my friends FaceTime me, asked me if I'm okay, yeah. all this, so yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. When we have spoken in the summer during the big interview, uh, you told me you wanted to help the team and you want to become a regular in the starting 11. So far, I could say you helped the team uh, <laughs> a lot, actually. Um, how far do you think you're still away from getting that, that one of the number 11 uh, uh, players on the pitch, that starting 11? Uh, for me, I think quite far, because I was injured for quite a long time, mm -hmm. so I've got to gain some more match fitness. Of course, and then, yeah, with time, it should hopefully step into place. Edin, the coach, Edin Terzic, mm -hmm. uh, in one of his uh, recent press conferences said uh, that, that you're an amazing player and he really was uh, stunned by all the things you can do with the ball. Um, what does his support mean to you? It means a lot because he backs me to do on the pitch what I do on the pitch. It helps me give um, confidence to the team as well. So it's good vibrations all the time. Okay. Yeah. We also spoke in that interview in Bad Ragaz about uh, your first uh, German interview, which you have <laughs> given just before that, just, uh, which was quite funny. But Edin, the coach, said now that your German is actually almost perfect. 
Yeah, I understand a lot. You understand a lot? Yeah, speaking as well, I can. So we're going to put you to the test now. Okay, cool. Okay. Test so me, I'm going to give you an English sentence and you will give me the German translation, okay? Okay. Okay, first test is, who's going to take the free kick? Wer mag der Freistoß? Very good. Very good, yes. okay. So the second one, ref. That was obviously a foul. Ref, that's why I'm foul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, very good. Yeah, your German is getting it. So the next one, the next time you're, you're guesting in that show, uh -huh. we'll probably do this in German. But no, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit more about the upcoming game against Freiburg. And to get ourselves in the right kind of mood, here's a look back on earlier games. So if you look closely, we also seen some pictures from the reverse fixture where you scored your very first uh, Bundesliga goal. Um, how do you remember that, um, not just that goal, that whole, whole game against Freiburg? The whole game was very fast, I remember, because we scored three goals in like 20 minutes or something like this. Mm -hmm. um, a tough game, back and forth, but at the end, um, good, good, good to win yeah. the team and yeah. So Freiburg at the moment, in the table, they are uh, on the same points, level points with us. Um, what will be the key to beat them? To do the basics right, to not concede goals obviously, because we concede quite a lot of goals I yeah. think, and to score goals. That's where you come in, probably. Yeah, right? yeah you want to help there. <laughs> yes. uh, besides Freiburg, we also play against uh, other direct uh, opponents when it comes to, to table places here in that stadium. Tell me, from your point of view, what's the difference between, uh, between home and away games? And what kind of energy do you get off uh, the, the fans in the stadium? Um, I'd say the fans in the home stadium gives us boost because they are our own fans, obviously, and they always support us. Away games, we still hear them. Like, yeah. Anywhere we go, so we still hear them, but less people. So yeah, it's good to be in a home stadium and play. I will say thank you for taking the time. It was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. And good luck for the rest of the season. Stay healthy. Yes, I will. Okay. Thank you. So that's it for this week's Matchday Magazine.